Hello everyone, welcome to Foreigner Farming in the Philippines. Making up some seedling pots here. I've used some of the uh, rice holes that we had left from the seedling trays. I've decided to put it in pots this time rather than trays. Because I'm going to be doing tomatoes this time. Today I'm going to be doing tomatoes. And the tomatoes really don't get large enough in these little small cell uh, seedling trays here to transplant. It just, it's really hard on them when you transplant them out of, because they're only like this high. When you transplant them, if you wait longer, they just get root bound. Yeah. So we're going to use these little pots here. Uh, three inch pots, I guess you'd call them. Two inch, who knows. So that they can get up to like yay high before we transplant them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't yeah. know how many I'm going to get here. I've mixed this soil. I've used some of the rice hulls that we had in those seedling trays. I've mixed quite a bit of sand with it. Uh, the same sand that we were using to uh, render the walls with. And uh, native soil. Probably, I don't know, three parts native soil two parts rice holes and one part sand. So that didn't really measure. I just scooped up sand until I was tired of it. And the native soil is what we had in other, uh, it was in that big tray there and a couple scoops from other places. So we're going to give this a shot. I've got all kinds of tomatoes I'm going to plant today. You can use this one also, love. Yeah, and there's a few there, a few of those smaller ones. In fact, won't you give me that, love, and I'll just mix it in with this. You want? Yeah. Oh, that's bitter. That bitter? Yeah, better. Bitter. Because it's a little wet. A little wet? Yeah. We went through our seeds yesterday kind of figuring out what we really wanted to get planted quickly and what I want to get in the ground first is tomatoes the tomatoes that we that were growing here are doing okay they're just not uh, the varieties that we planted just weren't big so today I'm going to be planting some beefsteak uh, let's see what was it beefsteak a mortgage lifter. I can't remember all the varieties. I got them in my back pocket. But because I'm busy at the moment, I'm not going to pull them out. I'm also going to take some squash seeds and I'm going to dual purpose those hanging tomato. Not this one, love. It still has a pepper in it. No, it's not that. that Are that's you sure? not, yeah, no, that's okay. uh, rice. I'm going to dual purpose the hanging tomato pots and plant squash in them because all the squash I've tried I've tried zucchini two different kinds of zucchini three different times here in the soil and the bugs just have a real party with it they just really go after them they never even uh, they never even get big enough well one time they didn't even get big enough to flower and the other two times they were flowering but they were under so much stress from the bugs that they never set any fruit. So I don't know if it's a if it's a climate thing that they weren't setting fruit or if it was the bugs. I'm tending to think it's the bugs. I don't know anyone else who's tried to squash here, so I don't have any frame of reference. I probably should have asked Joseph Seeley if, if he had done any and had any success with it. And if I did ask him, I don't remember what he said. I will plant squash there oh, later. You will spew what kind of squash? The one that you said, the one with like the star and if you look in the Oh the acorn squash? Yeah. It goes it will grow big. Uh, they get the pretty fruit. big. I don't know how they're gonna how they'll do here. Acorn squash is kind of a fall a, more of a fall crop than a summer crop. Uh, we'll see how it does here. All right, I think that's it. I'm going to sift this back and forth from one, one bucket to the other. Okay. This is all pretty good looking stuff here. Yeah. Where's the other blue bucket? 
Ah. It's going to get dusty, folks. So you might want to step back. See? You should mix, 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 mix that. Mix, 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 yeah. Yeah. Because it's dusty. Dusty mix. More. Hi. We would bring up a wheelbarrow. Hello. We would bring up a wheelbarrow and do it with that, but they're using them all down at the piggery, so I need to do it this way by hand. Oh, it makes me more itchy. It makes me make it. it Marcel's <laughs> been running around here this morning, all morning, scratching and complaining. Just so you all know, Marcel just loves her shrimp. But she's no. allergic to it. No, that's not she's true. She's allergic to all seafood. <laughs> it's, it's nice she keeps trying to say that it's rice hulls or some kind of crap like that, but she's allergic to seafood. It's but she can't, true. She can't, just can't back away from it. It's, it's, uh, it's and, because... And, and, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's seafood love. Uh -huh. <laughs> I know mm. it's... It doesn't sound right for <laughs> someone who loves seafood as much as you do to be allergic to it. Uh, it's All right, not this true. is mixed up pretty good now. Yeah. Okay, that's better. So as you can see, this is pretty good soil. That's pretty good stuff right there. So we'll keep filling these up, and when we've got them all planted, uh, because Shane really gave planted. us some markers that we're going to use. Uh, because with my old feeble brain, I can never remember the next day even what I planted the yeah. day before. So we're going to keep them all marked this time. Okay. Okay? Yes. All right. Why don't you shut it off for now, love, and then we'll pick it up again. Once. Hey, guys, just a heads up. Uh, this I, I assume this is some kind of a Bermuda grass from from this here, the nodes. Uh it's some kind of a, a something in the Bermuda family because uh, it'll go along on the ground like this and each one of these nodes it'll root. Just a word to the wise, don't let this get started. It's, a, it's up in these pots here and I'm taking it out. Uh, my finger, the ends of my fingers are bruised. These roots, okay. one of these little roots, it's like, it's like twine. They're that tough. I had to break this out one root at a time all these little roots here because you cannot pull it out this is this little root right here is as is as strong as twine so <laughs> don't let this get started in whatever you're planting uh, I'm gonna make sure that this gets set here and I'm gonna gather all this up this is all what I've been taking out of these uh, hanging tomato pots here because I want to put the squash and these, these were the, this is the soil that we got from Tagbalaran in the, in the bags. Yeah. So it's the best soil that we have in, in the hanging, in the hanging pots. So that's where I'm going to put my squash. I've got two or three kinds of uh, zucchini that, uh, two zucchini and one uh, crookneck that I'm going to put in these. Try dual purposing these uh, hanging pots. So yeah, don't let this get started because it, it's so root. This is a this is one that the tomato had died in. Yeah, because of that roots. And so we we took we took this out in mass. That's the kind of roots that it does. Couldn't even really save all the soil because it's just like a carpet, and this is dead, and it's still you can't you can't get it out, and it's really aggressive. Yeah, I can't even pull it apart. <laughs> I mean, don't let this stuff get in whatever you're growing. And it just looks like Bermuda grass. And some of it, the really tall stuff, this here is a seed, I'm sure. Uh, That's definitely different grass now. It's different? Yeah. All right. Well, the, the that, whatever that kind of Bermuda is, grass that is, don't let that get going. That one is not, it's not hard to pull. This one is the very tough. That one's very tough. Yeah. And then this one. This one, this one. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, we got the tomatoes planted that we're going to get planted today. These here, from here over, are mortgage lifter. 
These are a Florida hybrid. They're for hot and humid climate. There was 10 seeds in that packet. So we planted them in these four here. These are, are just a beefsteak. Uh, planted these here. And these are a Kellogg's uh, breakfast. Uh, they look sort of like a beefsteak. They look like, that's what I'm not familiar with them. They look like a beefsteak on the packaging. So that's what we got planted for the tomatoes this morning. All right, well, got all these planted. Uh, the, didn't have to add much to these pots, just a little bit to cover the seeds with. I got the straight neck squash from there back up to there. And the early golden uh, from there all the way to the end. A lot more seeds in the early golden packet than there was in the uh, straight neck. So got those in here. And over on the other side, I added quite a bit more soil to these because these pots here were the um, these were the only rice hull pots. So I added quite a bit more soil to these and rice hulls because it had decomposed a bit, broken down some. Like this pot here, I didn't plant it, but this was completely full when the tomatoes were put in it. So you can see it's broken down enough to it to uh, sink a little bit. So I filled, I filled them back up. I didn't plant these two here because they're just too tall. I filled these back up with soil, mostly soil and some rice hulls. Filled them to the top and planted those. And in this one, uh, did, did the Max's Gold Zucchini. I'm really a zucchini fan, butter and pepper. Uh, it's good stuff. So hopefully getting these zucchini and squash up off the ground will keep the bugs out of them. That's what, that's what we're hoping anyway. The tomatoes have done well, but they're starting to, they're starting to look a little peaked. I should probably get some dust out here, some of that sulfur dust, and dust them up a bit. But they're almost touching the ground anyway. So I think we'll just let these go the way that they are and replant them with a different kind of tomato. They, they do so well and we're it's kind of we're at the quandary of uh, do we hang the do we hang these lines of pots up higher so that no one except me well right now they're high up to where no one except me can work in the soil. So if we move them up another two feet higher so that we can uh, grow the vines two feet farther down to the ground so then we're in the the quandary of having to have someone go around with a little stool to water them so don't know that that string there is pretty high that's the highest one and as you can see those tomatoes are still a good ways from hitting the ground this string here is probably the lowest and they're already touching the ground there so I don't know we'll figure something out here we may just put this string up another foot, kind of meet it in the middle. Anyway, that's the planting project this morning. We'll keep you guys apprised. Thank you, everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.